Hey, this is Jazz. So in my last video, I got a request saying, can you make a short video on how to use Scatify 2? So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to use Scatify 2 app. And on top of that, I'm going to show you how to use Keepa. That way, when you are scouting for products, you know exactly how to use it and what to look for. Now, I will leave the link down in the description so you can go ahead and check out the app and Inventory Lab. But in this video, I want to let you know that you don't need Scatify 2 to actually become successful on Amazon. You can use the Amazon Seller app if you are a beginner. But in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why it's so beneficial to use this app and why so many other people actually use it. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if I end up bringing you any value. But most importantly, leave a comment down below because I do read them all and I try my best to answer them or make a video about them. With that being said, let's get to it. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to use Scatify 2 by scanning this product. This product was $9.99 at Ross and I was about to go and send it, but I want to show you guys how to use Scatify 2 with an actual product. Now, going into the app, I do want to let you know that I'm going to go a little bit detailed and over communicate on how to use this app. So if you already have some experience with this app, I'm sorry, I'm trying to help those with zero experience. That way they don't get lost. Now you can see in the bottom, there are different um, options. The first one right here is actually for you to search an item. Like for example, if you are looking for some Nike socks um, and then you put some keywords like Nike socks soccer, you're gonna see that there are so many different ones that you can actually pick uh, from. And this is exactly the way you're gonna be doing it if you're in the Amazon seller app. So that's one of the cool thing I love about this app is that it's so similar to an Amazon seller app, but it's improved. So with that being said, uh, let's go to the next one. Right here is your history, right? Anything that I have scanned with this app. As you can see, Thursday, June 24th, I scanned Under Armour backpack, here we go back. So then in, in case I do want to go ahead and reference any of these, it's already right here. It's kind of like when you're in your browser, how you have a history. It's the same thing with this one right here. Now, if we go right here, you're going to see this three dots and it's basically going to ask you to scan uh, this UPC code. So that's simply what you do. You're going to go ahead and scan it. But if you don't have a UPC code, you can always go to the other side. And next one is any buyer list that you're archiving. Um, I usually don't use this. I keep this. I, I don't really need it, uh, but if you are interested in this, I can go ahead and go a little bit deeper on this. You can go ahead and put a buy list um, right here, and then it will show, and you can go ahead and save it and add all the products you're going to be putting on this list. That way, whenever you do go and scout for more products, you will know exactly what you're looking for. And then if we go to the next one right here, this is the important uh, part. This is your settings. Uh, you're going to have your suppliers and this is basically where you're shopping, right? So whenever you do upload products on inventory lab it's going to remember every supplier, or every store that you go to. So that's something that is pretty cool. If you ask me now, you can always increase font size or decrease it depending on how you like it. I like it increased font size. You can match buy box for a listing price. So this third one right here, match buy box, I love that option because whenever I am scanning something, I want to know exactly what is the buy box, right? So I love that. And then you can go ahead and uh, you can actually go ahead and change uh, keep history. Um, and you, I'm, I don't know why it doesn't let me do that, but or you can actually clear your history. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my seller app. Awesome, so I'm signed in. And the cool thing about this is that it shows you if you are restricted in any product, right? When you're out there scanning, you can go ahead and check. And I'm gonna show you right now when, once we scan this product to show you if you're restricted or not. After that, we can do enhancements, which is pretty cool. If you have a desired ROI, for example, if I don't wanna go anywhere below 15%, this is basically where it's gonna stay um, and it's going to always tell me, but honestly, I'm gonna keep it at that. I'm sorry about that. You can always look at the rank thresholds. This is what I'm always talking about to you, with you guys, you know, uh, the top 5%, top 1%. I like to keep mine at 5%. You can always change this if you want. And then we go back and then you can go ahead and put ideal buy on. This just shows you like the great ranking only. And then right here uh, you have your shipping taxes and discounts, right? With Amazon, they always update it. Uh, whenever you are on the Amazon seller shipping queue, it will tell you exactly around what they um, estimate for your product to ship. It's 60 cents for what I know right now in 2021, but you can go ahead and always change it in case that changes. Now with my default sales tax, I like to be a little conservative. 
depending on which city I'm at here in Arizona, it can range from 8.2 to 8.6 to 8.7 to 8.5. So I like to keep my default sales tax at nine. Um, you can always add some discounts. Like for example, if you're using a credit card, you can always put 1.5% for your cash back rewards. Um, that would actually give you a better insight of how much money you're gonna be profiting after the whole um, intake. So right here, you can also have Amazon fees, right? I always like to estimate to have around one month of storage. You can always change it, uh, but I'm gonna keep it in that way. And then you can go ahead and, and um, let me see how, and then you can go ahead and check their user guide in case you do get lost. So we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna always have a UPC code. If you do not have a UPC code, you can always look up Nike Soccer, number five, size five. You can always look around and see like what the name of the product is. Or the cool thing about Amazon Seller app is you can take a picture of the product and it will most likely pull it up. So now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and scan the UPC code. And as you can see, it came up as Nike Pitch Trainer Soccer Ball Volt Black Silver 5. And you're gonna see right here, it has the picture, right? We're gonna go ahead and click it. And you're gonna see how the picture pops up. And this is how I know that this is the right product, is by comparing the picture on Amazon. And you always wanna make sure that you're only selling one soccer ball or one product. There are gonna be times where it says quantity four. So that means that I'm gonna have to send four to the customer. And if you don't pay attention to those little things, you can get bad rating, you're gonna get a lot of refunds, and then your money is going to slow down and then you're not going to be able to reinvest so always be careful with that and it looks like it is exactly that one um, so we're going to go ahead and go back so now that we take a look at the little square below the picture you're going to have the ASIN which is the B00 and then after that you're going to see target cost unit so this is what they want you to actually go after right so they want you to stay below $13.97 this was $9.99 so I'm going below the target cost um, and then below that, the green, the 59,000 is your sales rank, right? Oops. If we go back, your sales rank is top 1% of 27 million in sports and outdoors. And then it's gonna give you uh, your shipping size or how much it's gonna cost, which is 1.17 pounds around there. Um, and then it gives you the dimensions of the actual ball. Uh, the prep type, so you don't need to put any poly bags, the trade-in, none of that, zero on hand, which is pretty good. And after that, you're gonna see the channel, right? I like to do the channel of FBA, uh, but you can always change it to FBM, uh, but I like to keep it at FBA because I am a Amazon fulfilled uh, uh, seller, so that's pretty much how I keep it. My cost of unit, so we go ahead and click on that. You're gonna see that you can change the listing price, but we're leaving it at the buy box, and we're gonna go ahead and click 999, which is exactly how much it cost me. So then from there, you're gonna see how your cost of unit is $9.99, your list price is $26.85, which is how much you're selling it on Amazon, and your net profit is $4.34. Then it shows you your ROI. Your ROI is your return on investment, which is 39%. So you spent $10 and you're getting $5 back, is basically what it's saying. So right here on the pink side is merchant fulfilled uh, listing price. So merchant fulfilled means that Amazon sellers are sending their product from their house or their warehouse directly to the customer. The blue means used, which is pretty explanatory. It's a used product, um, which they there's none right there. And then there's FBA, which is we send our products to the warehouse fulfilled by the associates in Amazon. Um, so right here, the little square box right there shows you what the buy box is currently today, which is $26.85. Now, if we take a look down below the green, uh, the shopping cart, that just means you're gonna add this to your buying list. So whenever you are shopping, you can come back and know that this is something that you want to buy. So you can go ahead and do that, but we're gonna go ahead and cancel that. You can do some research, um, go ahead and click that. So if you wanna uh, check this ball on eBay, on Amazon listing, on Amazon, Prime, if you want to check Keepa, right, you can also attach your Keepa to your Scottify too. Any Amazon restrictions, all of that, like research, is right here in this one app. So now the little red uh, square right there is if you are restricted on selling this specific brand or product. So we're going to go ahead and click, and you can see right here that I'm allowed to sell this new. I cannot sell it used. Um, 
in any of these categories, any collectibles are refurbished, right? You see how there's a green arrow and a red arrow. That's how you know you're restricted. And that's why you need to connect your Amazon seller account and always sign in so then you can check if you're restricted or not. So then after that, after you see all the offers, we're gonna go ahead and check the profitability, right? So we click on that, and we're here, we already have our 9% sales tax clicked in, our discount. If I was actually doing this, I would put my cash back rewards, which is 1.5. Sometimes it can hit 5%, but I'm gonna be conservative and keep it at 1.5. And then right here, it's gonna show you your expenses, right? Now, before I explain the expenses, I do wanna let you know that your listing price, $26.85, is what is your sales, right? So this is the money that you're gonna get back, and we're trying to figure out exactly how much profit we're gonna get, right? So as you can see right here, our listing price is 26, and our expenses is 22, so then we're gonna get $4 for profit. Now, we're gonna get the whole entire $26, we're gonna get back our $10, we're gonna pay the fees, uh, but that's why we are left with four dollars so you're gonna get back exactly your 9.99 that you paid for this unit your it really tells you right here how much you're gonna pay for taxes your Amazon referral fee FBA fulfilled me fee um, any closing fee um, that's why most people don't do FBA is because when you do sell one specific product on Amazon you are basically paying all those huge amounts of fees um, estimated shipping so you know how it says right here, um, it's about one and one one pound and seventeen. So it's estimated shipping is around seventy cents, which is how, which is why we need to plug in um, how much we're going to be paying for shipping, um, and then from there monthly storage is thirty one cents. So our total expenses is twenty two dollars and fifty one cents, uh, and we're getting four dollars of profit right here. So then we go ahead in, in our history and I can show you right here when I have purchased this and the quantity um, because it's attached to my ASIN number and then from there we can go ahead and check storage. Now storage is important for a couple of reasons. If you are getting a new product and you don't know how long it's going to stay in storage, you can kind of see until when you will lose the most amount on your profits, which is pretty good if you ask me. And that is why I love Scottify 2 is because it will show me ex uh, around a good ballpark on how much I'm going to be paying for storage. So right here, you're going to see that I'm going to be losing money on 0301-2022. But you can see right here, the total fees will change, right? It's 31 cents. So then you would be 31 cents plus um, 31 cents, which is 62 cents. And then it keeps adding up, it keeps adding up. So then all my profit would be eaten up by um, 0301-2022. Um, and then that's when the red is basically telling me that I'm gonna be paying and, and my uh, profit is zero right there basically, which is pretty good because the Amazon seller app does not show you this. Now that's pretty much exactly why I love Scoutify 2 is because it's super straightforward. There's no hidden fees. Like it shows you exactly how much you're gonna be paying for fees, your shipping, your sales tax, how much you can get from profits, how much you're gonna be paying for any storage. So to me, paying those $50 for inventory lab is a huge win uh, because with the Amazon Amazon seller app I have been with them since 2017 and it's a struggle to understand what the buy box is how much I'm gonna be paying how much profit I'm gonna be getting how much the shipping is gonna be eating up my profits and, and all that good jazz so this is exactly why I love 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 Scottify 2 now I do want to give you a little gold nugget and show you that you also need to use Keepa because Keepa will show you if a product is selling or not. And I have shown you in my other past videos the importance of Keepa. That was one of my biggest mistakes when I first started. I didn't really understand that Keepa is such a huge player when it comes to understanding whether you're going to sell a product or not. So if you can't afford to buy or use the um, software Inventory Lab or Scottify 2, that's okay because you have Amazon Seller App. But Keepa is one of those that you must use because even if you're using the Amazon seller app, the sales rank does not match whether it's actually selling. So paying, I pay $18 for that um, Keepa app and I recommend it a thousand out of a thousand. It's one of those things that I would not be where I am without the app. Now before I show you how to use the Keepa app, before you come at me, anyone who is an Amazon seller and does use Scottify 2, the reason why I don't like using Keepa with Scottify 2 is because I don't like the way it's organized and I like being able to have more options on my app, being able to be a little bit more mobile. Um, if you rather have it on your Scottify 2 and just click on it right there, 
then that's all on you. I'm just gonna show you why I prefer the app. Um, but at the end of the day, you do what's best for you and I'm gonna show you what's working for me. I'm gonna go ahead and open Keepa, which is welcome to Keepa. You go ahead and just sign in here and you're basically logged in. One thing that you can actually use Keepa, but you can't use the extra features that are on the app or on the software. It's only $18. And if we actually do the math, if there's 31 days in a month and it costs us $18, we're basically paying $1.72. So if you sell one product, if you sell a soccer ball that basically pays off um, Keepa for that day. So just look at it that way. <laughs> Okay, now that we're here, there's gonna be different um, options. We're gonna go ahead and click on search. And then right here, you're gonna either be able to look it up through the ASIN, the UPC code, the name of the actual product, or even scan it. I always go first at scanning, but I will say whenever it comes to Under Armour, I don't know why Keepa has a hard time actually um, getting it. So then I would use the ASIN that I get from Scottify 2. But right here, we're gonna go ahead and click scan. And right here, we scan it, just waiting for it to load. And here we go. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I want to show you when it comes to Keepa. You're gonna have different buttons right here, the new, used. That's just showing you a graph of exactly what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything off. Um, we're only gonna put sales rank, right? So you can kind of understand where this is actually going. So right here, you can see that there is a sales rank from February, well, January, all the way to June, which is today. And then from on the right side, you're going to have from the sales rank number zero to 125,000. Depending on which product it is, the numbers on the right side might go bigger or smaller. So if a product is at a sales rank of 10,000, it's going to have a smaller numbers on the side. Um, but the one thing that I do want you to keep in mind is under here, there's one day, one week, two weeks, one month, three months. I like to keep it at six months and three months because I like to buy products to sell in like month range. So in two to three weeks that I buy it, it hits the warehouse and boom, I want it to, to sell because I want to reuse um, my money, right? So we're going to go ahead and click three months and then you're going to see right here that it will show me April 16, June 16, right? And when when you see it go down, that means that if you actually look at it, it's at fifty thousand, right? We're gonna we're gonna zoom in so I can kind of give you a better insight. So you see how in June twenty two it was up to sixty thousand, and then it drops down to forty thousand. That means that someone bought it, right? When you see drops from sales rank, that means there was a a buy in that range of time. So that's exactly why we want to look at Keepa because there are going to be times when you're going to scan and the sales ring doesn't show you all of that. There have been socks and I can go ahead and you can go ahead and check my YouTube videos where the sock says 8,000 in ranking, right? The closer it is to zero, the better, but you're going to check Keepa and it has not even dropped once. So you always want to check Keepa to see if it's selling by, by it dropping. And then after you see the sales ring, we're going to go back to three months you want to check the buy box, right? The buy box basically shows you how much the market is selling right now, how much this product is selling right now. And as you can see, uh, it has been consistent until May 16, it increased, and then it slowly started getting back to where it was before. So that kind of shows me that the buy box has been consistent. Um, so I know if I look at the buy box right here, it's $26.85. It's what's selling. That's what the market is buying uh, this soccer ball at. Um, I can go a little bit lower or I can just maintain it in that. You never want to go higher because uh, it's, very, it's more hard for the algorithm to actually pick your um, product since th they want to actually uh, give satisfaction to the customer. Um, after that, you want to. I'm going to take away the buy box, and then the orange is new party or third party FBA, right? Us, we're the FBA, so we're going to go ahead and click that, and it shows me that it has been matching the buy box, which is pretty good because if we look at the orange and the and the pink, they look similar, right? So that's pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and click the blue. The blue is uh, fulfilled by merchant, so those who send it from their house directly to the customer. We're gonna go ahead and click on this and you're gonna see that they are higher than the buy box. Now, I'm gonna tell you why us FBAs match the buy box and it's mainly because sometimes 
most of the time we're competing with Amazon, right? Amazon also buys products and actually, actually is selling the same things as us. And as you can see right here, Amazon is not selling it because if Amazon was selling it, it would be orange. It would be covered in like a shaded orange. And that is showing you that Amazon is actually selling it during that period. Um, but the, the thing with the third party is that they are selling it higher uh, because they also have to pay for shipping. So uh, it depends on which uh, range you want to go to. Some people are really successful when it's FBM, when they're doing like huge amounts of products or um, backtrack or um, in that scenario is that they have a warehouse with employees or you're just selling less than 40 items in a uh, month and you don't want to pay any of those extra FBA fees. So now that we go down, you're gonna go ahead and see that like the title, Nike Pitch Trainer uh, Soccer Ball, and then the buy box, right? Right here is super important. The buy box shows us how much we can actually sell it for. The lowest was $14. Uh, the highest was $153.99 27 months ago. That's insane. So you're telling me that someone bought this for $153. <laughs> That's insane. That is crazy. Uh, so right here, you can see that it is $26. Then from there, we're going to go ahead and uh, go down to sales rank. Sales rank is also important because it shows you where this ball is ranged at, right? The lowest was 2022 months ago and the highest was 6 million. So 29 months ago and 22 months ago, that's a, such a short period of time. My best guess at this scenario is that it was barely listed and that's why it was at a high um, sales rank and then it started to drop. So that's my uh, theory, but don't come at me if it's not. And then, and then right there, you're gonna see the drops, 37 in the 30 days, 118 for 90 days, and 230. So right here, the sales rank, what is important is it will show you exactly where those sales ranks are in which category. So sports and outdoors, soccer balls, and then men's drops. And then the rating for this ball exactly is four um, stars, which is pretty good. Um, review count, 324. Um, and that basically is showing you right there. This is exactly the same one. Now, it does show you other parts, but the one thing that I do want you to keep in mind and what is really important to me is, so when I use Keepa, there are three things that I'm looking for. The first one is sales rank. I wanna know if it's been volatile, if it's been consistent. What is this uh, selling at? Is it actually dropping or has it been at the warehouse and not been selling at all? I wanna know that information. So the sales rank here in this chart shows me what the activity has been going on with this ball. And then I want to know the buy box, right? Because I want to know exactly how much is the perfect price to sell this today. And as you can see, it's $26.85. So then I know what the market wants, right? And then the last thing that I look for, which you can't see in this reference, is, is Amazon selling this product? And if so, is there any times of the month where they are not selling it or they go out of stock? And I want to know when, because if I'm selling these balls and let's say that you're going to see orange until May 16 and then you don't see anything until June 16. So that means that I have a chance to actually start slowly sending products because I know that they're going to run out and I'm going to have that dip where all my balls are going to be selling because Amazon run out of stock so it's one of those things that i do want you to keep in mind so people don't like selling products if amazon is selling it they have this whole theory how um, amazon is very selfish and they won't let us 30 parties actually sell products but my theory here is that they do give us the ball every once in a while or they do rotate it because they want us to continuously sell right so if we are selling a product and Amazon is selling a product, they want us to know that they also gave us the opportunity. Now, with that being said, hopefully I was able to bring you some value with the two softwares that I use, Inventory Lab, which is Scottify 2, which is $50 a month, or Keepa, um, it's around uh, 17 to $20, depending on which country you're in. Uh, with that being said, if you have any questions based on those two softwares, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna try my best to either answer it through a next video or through the comments. But if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe for more financial and Amazon videos. But most importantly, remember, be someone that makes you happy.